Hello, welcome back to the Basement Card Collector. Today's video will be showing you the Topps Tiffany cards that I have in my collection. You can see the box to the side here of Pat Hughes. I have three years of Topps Tiffany, and for the longest time when I was growing up, I heard about them. I could see articles or I heard someone saying they have a Topps Tiffany. I'm like, what is that? Where, where, where do they find these cards? And so lately I've been sorting things and I found uh, just a little stack of, you can see the three years, 1988, 1989, and 1990. So I just did a little bit of Google searching and reading on a couple sites. Um, how, do, how do you know if it's a Topps or a Topps Tiffany or a Topps Traded or an OPG or just all of the different versions um, in today's terms it would be called a, a variation a variation of a card and so what i like to just show is some of the tops tiffany cards that i have i'm really coming across these very late in my collecting career i heard about them and read about them i remember hearing about them in beckett's i didn't really understand what that even meant i assumed that meant it was a completely different card itself just like Don Russ or Fleer, there was something called Topps Tiffany where it said, you know, somewhere in the corner, Tiffany. And so what I found on my Google search was Topps Tiffany started in 1984. I did not know that. Um, they ran pretty normally through 1991. And I was on a website that said they have made a couple other sets like in the 2000s. I don't know about those. Um, so in my, in my brain, they run from 1984 to 1991. They have a matching number of cards of Tiffany as the base set. So like 792, 1989 tops, there are 792 tops Tiffany. And so on back to 84. How do you tell them apart? I have a couple people, I have a couple stacks here. I'm gonna show you to the right here. Uh, I was looking online and it also said the sets did not come marked as tops Tiffany, 1989 top set. Um, I will try to upload a photo here to show you what the boxes look like, but they were very bland looking if you can if you can understand that, but they were just marked with they were a base a base color depending on the year, blue, green, red, and so on. And they just had gold striping and gold piping that just said, you know, Tops Complete Set Collector's Edition. So if you're ever out there garage sailing or antiquing and you see a solid base colored box with the gold lettering that just says Complete Set Collector's Edition gold trimmed box, that's how you know it's Top Tiffany. And I did not know that. That was news for that was new to me. So if you see that out there you want to pick that up. The cards here are worth, you know, <laughs> compared to a base 1988 tops. I was just looking for like Tom Glavin rookies online. They're a couple hundred dollars and I assume those are graded and whatnot. But so if you ever see anything like that, um, you want to pick those up. And so in my little stack, this is the, this is 1988 tops Tiffany that I have. Um, just the gloss, if, you, if the camera picks this up, here's a 1988 uh, Sandberg, 1988 base card, just do not have that shine. And if you look at the back, here's how you can tell, it's just bright. The card stock was super, just not white, but the white is white and the bright orange back. Um, and so this is just a stack of the cards that I have. So here's a Sandberg. Ricky Henderson, Great Shine, Hall of Famer, Jack Morris. There's the Gold Cup Greenwell. Here comes a little cubby section, Jody Davis, Jamie Moyer. I won't go through the whole stack, but Mike Schmidt, 1988 Tops Tiffany. How about that? That's cool. Uh, new Hall of Famer, Burt Bly Levin. And again, there's Fisk, kind of cool, shiny. But that's how you can tell if is it Tiffany, is it just bright, bright on the back? And again, we don't have to go through this whole stack, but but again, here's just, you know, and I was kind of shocked to see how many of these I had. So that's not very many, you know, under 100. Some that were close to the set, but it's just a cool, we'll put the Sandberg out here for the 88. And for all of you super collectors out there, I'm sure there's somebody out there, but check out this rainbow, if you will, Ernie Witt. Blue Jay Catcher. Okay, pretty cool. So here's the base card. Here's the Opeachy. 
And then here is the Topps Tiffany. So just to kind of show you, how about this, an Ernie Witt rainbow. Anybody out there have one of those? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm an Ernie Witt collector, but I do collect cards with my, uh, with names that are in our family. And Ernie, we named our dog Ernie Banks. So any player with the name Ernie, I have a little box that I've been piling him into. But if you take, so I have, there would be the Ernie Witt Rainbow of 1988 tops. Okay. So if you look at the back, look at the different card stock. That's interesting to kind of look at this. Here's the base, number 79. And here is what I read to find out how it's different. Some were the same and some were different. And so for this example, if you see the one star on the base set this top tiffany is only marked with one star also so on this tops tiffany website i was reading sometimes they're marked the same sometimes they're marked differently but in the ultimate way to tell them apart it's just the shine super glossy if you have them you know so i thought i'd try to make this to kind of show you what they actually look like and then here's the opg it's very they're very significantly they're just very very different Okay, so there's the Ernie Witt Rainbow. Um, let's look into the 1989, a separate kind of rainbow that I have here. Three versions of the Andre Dawson 89 tops. Let you look and see the difference. It just is amazing. And the, again, Dawson 89 base, Dawson 89 Tiffany, in Dawson 89 TTM. So my own version of a Dawson Rainbow 1989. And again, the back, it's just, there's there's no, it's just so bright white. And again, the one star, the one star, and that's, and again, certain years matched, so you can't, there isn't a difference. It's not like marked in, it doesn't say anywhere, anywhere, anywhere on the card, Tiffany. It's just the gloss and the cardstock used. So there's like there's my Dawson rainbow. But if I again I have a bigger for 1989 tops. This is my Tiffany Tiffany stack, if you would. And there's some pretty cool pretty cool names in here. The Bo Jackson, Gary Carter, Wade Boggs. Hall of Famers, and eventually, Shiny Barry Bonds, Kirby Puckett. There's the Rich Goose Gossage, and just back here in the corner, there's the TTM, the Goose. But again, they're just super glossy and shiny. Daryl Strawberry, Little Cub Patch, Gary Varsho, Mike Karki, um, the Flying Dutchman. He's the super collector of Steve Sears. I don't know if he has this. Um, might send this to him just as a gift, but but you can see they're just so the cardstock. It's just so shiny, shiny front and bright pink backing. That's my '89 collection. Let's put the bow over here, and I have a few. Just grab a couple off the top. 1990 tops. Now uh, this chunk, I grabbed, actually, I grabbed like the, I kind of call them the bonus sets or the extended sets here. This is the Topps Traded, and then the, the Topps Debut. But again, look at the back. It's so bright. Traded's, and then the Major League Debut. They just feel different. If you have 90 Topps, which I'm sure you do, <laughs> they just feel they're different and you can tell right away so we'll put let's put the bobby cox up there this is bobby cox thinking we're about to turn this around and be in first place for the next 13 years 1990 was his first year on the braves we'll just put the bobby cox up here so that'll do it folks uh i, I just wanted to kind of show, go through those and so my question for you out there is do you have tops tiffany does anybody out there have the tops tiffany sets and I saw there's a, re a set registry out there to, um, they're numbered to certain thousands, just like everything else, but they actually have a serial number on each set box. So there are several people that have logged their set in saying it's sealed, it's complete, 
it's open but it's complete or it's open and it's missing cards just really cool so as a youngster as a young basement card collector i could i heard about these and read about these and really not until much later in my life did i realize they're really the same cards they look no different at all it just was the variations back before 2022 when they actually made a hundred versions of a prism per of a player on the prism sets or so 1988 is what i have up to 1990 they do go back to 1984 um, I'd be curious to know, do you have them? Do you keep them separate? Do you do you store them with the other cards? Are they in your players? But it, it's a 10 minute mark. Sorry about that. Um, they're just really cool looking cards and they're in really good shape. And I wish I would have sent some of that, some of this stack out for TT hymns, but what do you do? Anyway, thanks for watching my top Tiffany video. We'll see you next time.